Good morning, adventurers, and welcome to another Up For Adventure vlog. Well, this cruise will probably destroy future cruises for Up For Adventure. All right, so here we go. We're on our road to from Titusville, Courtyard of Marriott, to Port Canaveral for what? For Disney the Disney Wish. 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 Second time Disney Wish. So we are back at Port Canaveral. It's been almost a year, just about, since we've been here. Well, a little less than a year, since we've actually, the last ship that we took out of this port was that beauty right behind us, the Disney Wish, the brand new, ship in the uh, Disney line and we're gonna head on board for a three-night cruise out of Port Canaveral and we are excited however with a twist so the first time this is our 21st cruise that we have done with Disney and for the first time we are going to sail concierge that's right we're gonna do a three-night concierge on the Disney wish we're gonna bring you along show you all the stuff Gonna splice in actually a regular room, a, a balcony room as well on our first cruise, so we'll do that. It shows, as well as show the excitement that we have one of the really kind of cool rooms that's sort of a corner room that has not a balcony, but sort of a, I guess, a view of the uh, front of the ship. So that will be cool. So come along with us, Disney Wish, right now. And there's that beautiful brand new ship. You see the Aqua Mouse hanging up here. And we're all the way to the front of the ship. You can see here in the back, we've got, well, you can see a little bit of Rapunzel's hair. It's hard to see uh, it from where we're at right now. But we're gonna get down there, we're gonna head in because as a concierge, you get to get on the ship pretty doggone early. So we're gonna get on, get on board, and gonna see what's all there is to offer. There's the Disney Cruise Line uh, terminal right there. So we gotta head down. Got to go through uh, the uh, TSA people or port people and then head in and check, out, check, check in. And I believe get our gold card. So how cool is that? So we're excited. All right, we're walking across now. So two ways you can get across on the Port Canaveral terminal. One, which is the ground floor, or three, walking across the bridge. You have to actually go down anyway, but still get a nice little shot view of the uh, Wish right here and all the lazy buses. What not? All right, so here's where we check in before we go through security. And for the first time, we're gonna be able to go to Concierge. One over from Platinum. Well, now there's probably two over because, right, there's Platinum and then what's the other one? It hasn't started yet, I don't think oh, it has, has started yet. Pearl hasn't started yet. Well, it's still up, inaugural sailings, the Disney Wish. All right, so we're headed up, and there should be somebody here to greet us here as we get up to the, well, what used to be actually the check-in here, but now just a big old, old, and here's the big, nice lobby. Sometimes they do have character out there, Mickey, Minnie, Donald. There's the big ears, but I don't think we're going to get to go through them this time, the big ears. I think we'll go a different way, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I took a step out here on the outside portion. Just to get a better grand view, there's the Aqua Mouse right there again. Front of the ship hanging back this way. Just like in Willy Wonka, your search for the gold ticket. Concierge, gold the gold stickers. stickers. We're excited to get our gold key to the world cards um, too. I'm excited. I think it's better than going to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. What do you think? I hope so. All right, so here's the uh, concierge room. Of Cool diaphragm of the Disney Wish. The fun funnel. So just to give you a little feel for some of the sitting areas. And what's kind of cool here in the concierge, they have some Mickey and some mini stuff. So we know the Wish has a lot more concierge rooms than the, uh, some of the other Disney ships and kind of give an idea about all of the massive amount of people. I guess not too much. All right, we're boarding. Let's do it. All right, how excited are we? Number 21. And how cool. Beautiful ship. We're just about there. Now 
Unfortunately, you don't get the nice announcement like you usually do. But it's kind of, sort of. They still say, Disney Wish welcomes. All right. Excited? We're excited. Yes, come on in. Please welcome aboard the Duke family. Hey. Now we got to see who's up here. I don't, I don't, we didn't get wands. We didn't get wands this time. Oh, we got Belle. How oh, cool. We got Belle. Just give you a little bit of a view. This is a beautiful ship. And all runs around here. Oh, they did get our wand. All right. So on, very different from the other ships because you can actually go from really within the um, what do we call it? atrium, I guess. Great room, great room. Grand, hall. grand, grand hall. I'll get it. You can actually go up to, to uh, four and five. So that's pretty cool. Oh, we got Minnie up here. Let's turn around and see Minnie. Captain Minnie up there. How great. And so give you orientation, there's where we came in. And 1923, now what you gotta understand is, Roy, Disney's on that side, and then, our, yeah, Walt's on this side, and that's where actually we found out our lunch is gonna be. Cinderella is in front, the statue of the ship. We'll show you what's behind her. But let me first get a little glimpse here of her shoe. How cool is that? Isn't that pretty cool? But got to see who's in back of Cinderella. Now, how cool is that? You've got Lucifer in the back, but it doesn't end there because look who's underneath Cinderella. So could Jack and Gus. So I got that. So Lucifer and then Jack and Gus. How cool. So outside of uh, Waltz, probably on the other side too, some animated little vignettes here really cool so we'll explore a little bit later when we have uh actual dinner here but what's cool about the uh disney uh um dining areas is that just different different uh drawings and objects from all the movies so it's very right, cool. So here's our menu. Really, it's not a very enha enhanced menu for his concierge. This is what, wherever they're having, you have dinner, or sorry, wherever you have lunch on uh, embarkation day, this is really the same menu. We always get the uh, beef empanadas, they're to die for. And then someone will get the pasta. I usually do the chicken Caesar salad, but I don't know. We'll see. Keegs usually gets the cookies and cream, or no, welcome aboard Sunday. And there's the rest of the menu. Start off with the delicious Disney bread and some butter. Let's do it. All right, my dearest, what did we get? This is our surprise, tried and true. surprise, surprise, surprise. I don't think we've ever had any other appetizers for our um, embarkation lunch, but this is the beef empanada with the chimichurri sauce. That is good. So, in the tradition of Disney appetizers, yes, the empanadas were good. Um, I think. Really fresh this time, really good. I mean, they're good all the time, but I thought extra special fresh. Maybe it's just because we're on the Disney Wish. I don't know, but it was good. We're predictable. I know. I always have the same lunch, but I just love it. So Brielle and I have the kind of pasta dish. All right. And I like them. They're very predictable. It's just so light and good. Um, it just seems to be the perfect lunch, that's all, for your boarding um, day. So, Caesar chicken, chicken Caesar salad. Now let's go to Keegs. He got something special. All right, Keegs, what'd you get? Cheese and mac. My favorite. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Mac, cheese mac, and fries. Mm -hmm. All right. The lunch is going well. Um, I'm trying to save some room for dessert. It's kind of 50-50. We either have lunch, with dessert, or we do dessert later. I think today we all opted to order a little bit of something here at the table, so it saved a little room. It didn't finish my food, but it's not because it wasn't delicious. Pasta good? Yeah. I agree with my dearest um, chicken salad. Just, you can't go wrong, it's very good. And um, I also kind of go light with a little bit of uh, strategy that yeah I do have room if I want because we're right we don't usually get dessert for lunch but when you go light if you like a chicken salad you don't feel as guilty 
right? But you're on a cruise. You shouldn't feel guilty anyway. But anyway, um, dessert's up next. But what? Let's, let's, let's Keegs. How's that, Mac? Keegs? How's that, Mac Daddy? All right. The cheese Mac is actually pretty good. Um, I can't. Really that was that was a Toby for in there. Okay. It was good. Ooh, we all got something different. We did. So I don't think we planned it that way. No, I didn't. I got the carrot cake. No, they have it already. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. Carrot cake lover looking good. Breezy, before you dig in, wait. What did you get? I got the um, cookies and cream cheese cake. That's looking pretty good. All right. And I got the warm molten hot. I know it has some hazelnut gelato, I think, in there. And that's what that looks like. All right, Keys, what about you? What did you get? So, welcome aboard Sunday. Always, always, welcome aboard. All right, I'm gonna go first. That was stinking delicious. Wow, if you, I, I've never seen that on any embarkation menu. Um, that was absolutely wonderful. That homemade uh, hazelnut gelato. Oh, and it tasted like there was some kind of cherry, but it wasn't on the, the description, so. Whoa, that was good stuff. Let's see what the rest of the fam thinks about their dessert. Right. I, I don't think we need to really ask, but how was your dessert, dude? Uh, see, we're out of 10, wouldn't get again. It's really good. It wasn't up to, uh, wasn't up to par, huh? <laughs> You almost like destroyed that cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Good? It, it was really good. It's almost gone. All right. Mama, carrot cake standards? Carrot cake is really good. I'm not going to finish it. <laughs> but what I ate was delicious. And there's what you got left. All right. So overall, good first meal. All right. Before we take off here, I did want to mention one thing. So this was a concierge. Um, lunch, but other times when we have done our Disney cruises, you can eat, have two choices. You can either do Cabanas, which is, well, sorry, Marceline Market, on the wrong ship, Marceline Market, or there is another restaurant. Like, first time we were here, we actually ate on the parade at the Marvel, World of Marvel. So, there are two options you can do, sit down like this, or the buffet, whether it be Cabanas uh, on another ship or whether it be Marceline Market. All right, cool. So now they changed out. We're from Belle to Cinderella and Prince Philip. Did I get that right? Prince Philip. Prince Charming. All right, I get it right. Sorry. All right. We'll try to do a uh, formal uh, ship tour. But uh, as we come across cool things, look at this. This is pretty cool. Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. Cinderella. Yeah, across from Nightingale's, one of the uh, adult lounges here. And as you walk back to the front of the ship, you're going to get into the Bayou Tai Tiana's place. This is a really very cool place. Got some cool beignets. We're going to try to hit this place too. And then right across from the Bayou. This is where we're going to go next. Push it, right. Punch it, Chewy. Punch it. Oh, right. so cool. Go. All right, let's go. Some of the cool stuff in here. How crazy is this stuff? Very much like uh, Oga's canteen there in Hollywood Studios. All right, so you can get the menu on the app, or you can do it the fun way and actually come here. And boom. So you have these, which are the libration free, which I think we're gonna get. And then just show you those other cocktails, wine selections. But we do gotta show you this one. Let's see, does it come up here? I think at some point in this cruise, we're gonna get... Uh... So if you really wanna go out of this world, the Hyperfuel Coaxium Box. Now, that's just going to take you 400 credits, otherwise known as $400. Or you can go big time spender. Not going to try. Crystal. Kyber Crystal. Oh, Kyber. Okay. So, oh, geez. Okay. But this is the rarest of the rare now. Look at that money 5,000 credits. Now, our understanding is this also buys you what, a trip to. Yeah, something I, I read, or I might have seen it on a vlog, um, that you get some kind of pass to go to Skywalker.
Skywalker Ranch. Two. Not in our budget. So I don't know if you're a family of four, does that mean 10,000? Right. So we're going to stick with the libation yeah, for items we're gonna go, for this trip. We're, not, we're staying in this galaxy. Just wanted to give another little flavor of some of the cool stuff. Now I think she says that so minutes they we change galaxies. So not sure which galaxy we're in right now, but anyway. But didn't she say a certain amount of minutes we change? Every seven minutes. Every seven minutes we go into hyperspace and we change galaxies. We'll put the uh, name in above, but there's one. Oh, Temple Twist. Okay. We'll still put a name in below. And description. Okay. And now this has got ice cream. Looks like a rainbow sherbet ice cream or something. Cloud City. All right. Well, let's temple the cloud and let's hit the city. <laughs> All right, buddy, take a sip. All right. You had some ice cream. It does. It does look a little bit like blue milk, doesn't it? it looks like but it doesn't take like that Fruit Loop taste. I'm like most interested in this. Okay. Let's see. Breezy's, Breezy's going to town on the temple with the Yoda. Yoda man. Is this alcohol? My dearest, underage, not even close to 21. It does have it's ginger, not alcohol. beer in it. It's, but it's not, not the same. Alcoholic. I'm drinking it's beer. It's not alcoholic. There's no alcohol, but I'm drinking beer. I'm drinking ginger beer, like you drink root beer. Okay, so. It tastes like a perfume. Like a, a perfume? perfume. A, good a good way? All right. You're drinking Yoda. Yep. Or Go Group. In this family, I have just learned. Look, I love Star Wars, but I'm not good at Star Wars. Trivia, Star Wars characters, pronunciation, pronunciation of Star Wars stuff. So I'm, you know, Grogu. Okay. I just say Baby Yoda. It's easier. Did you try the drink? Let me try. I did. I tried the uh, blue milk stuff. Eh, okay. Let me try uh, Yoda here. All right, is that, now is Yoda a kiwi? Yeah, it's a kiwi. Oh, it's kiwi, okay. I, I, know, I know kiwi, so, all right. It's not bad, but it's different. I just hear, it's not bad though. It's got a minty, yes, I would agree, kind of perfumey, lack of better taste, perfumey kind of taste. And I don't know what, that's a minty, probably something or another. So, but hey, you know what? We tried. This was one thing we did not get to do our first cruise. You know, three night cruises are very hard to get everything in. But we said we had a bucket list on this one. Hyperspace Lounge, first day. So I think if you're coming to the Hyperspace Lounge, at least our opinion, experience, uh, at least the libra libation free drinks were not all that wonderful. But um, hey, it's experience and it looks pretty cool in here. I mean, I gotta tell you. So, you know, thank you for it. Here we are, 11006. This is in the front of the ship. What's cool is our baggage are here. I think this has got to be a first, huh? This is a first. All this is a first. All our baggage right. is here. Let's right. see the grand opening. Let's see. So these are different than our other 21. Oh this is the 21st. Keegan's is the first whoa, one on whoa, top. Whoa. I won't show his castaway ID, but there it is. Awesome. We're ready. Mm -hmm. We're so excited. excited. This is going to ruin. No, it's not. Every cruise. No, it's not because we love every. We go through these doors. No. It's Future not. cruising is done. No. For the Duke. Just okay. Going. All right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> gonna get the fam. Gonna, gonna get the fam reaction here. Oh, wow. And then we'll turn around. Wow. Oh gosh. Wow. Oh my goodness. Is that a fruit basket? Awesome. There's a fruit. What all the right. Let me let me turn around. Oh, all right. So we'll give a. I'm gonna give you a formal uh, tour of 11006, but this is just gonna be in our daily, our first vlog here of embarkation. So this is where they're going to be, and let me just swing around so here. Closets. There's the f entryway. Some shelves. Okay. And then, as you come back here, this is, I guess you would say, the owner suite. Oh my gosh. So not really a suite, but it does have it separation. Like 
And how cool is that? This is uh, Ariel, right? Wow. Got our own TV there. But we're not so, done. Even though this isn't a balcony, hey, I could live with this. This is a, I don't know what you would call it, a wraparound window here in the front of the desk ship. here. Oh, hello. And then, as we go through, we're back into the kiddies' rooms. Did you see even the carpet is themed? You see the coconut? Oh, that's true. Even the carpet has seashells. So I'm thinking now, this is a bed here, right? Yes. And then this is a bed here, one of the Murphy beds, I'm thinking, right? Like Probably right here. Yeah. And actually has a cloud, so that's cool. All right, so that uh, will do our room tour here for day one, but I will include a complete room tour here more thoroughly of 1106, 11, le sorry, 11006, I'll get it right. Um, because this is on this on this floor uh, there's only another room like this and that's on the other side that is a handicap room so that's pretty cool there's several or at least I think four uh, little mermaid rooms but as far as corner room like this there's only two and we're gonna go explore the concierge lounge so come along with us pretty nifty up here on deck 12 a tangled kind of theme as we head back to the concierge lounge get into lounge you have to tap your key just like that put some into it here right, let's head back here and see what we've got all right let's see what they've got special back here Hi. the desserts I just anti-pastas Good stuff, good stuff. Ooh, Nutella Blondie Bites. And it's got chocolate, so how do you go wrong? So just right, uh, well, if you're, if you're facing the stage to the right, they have a blocked off area for the handicap. And uh, not sure what criteria to, to meet to do that, but anyway, that's, that's a nice touch there. So about 10 minutes 
This is kind of a special place here that only on the Wish because they have this sort of in-between deck that either you're up on whatever, 11, uh, on the, the floor or on the stage show at 11 or on deck 12. Middle ground where you have the pool and there's a couple pools in back of us. So it's kind of a nice spot, but probably not good for fireworks, we're thinking. But shows, yeah, we're liking it. Team here on board. Now I've got a question for you all. Are you excited for your new fun and magical vacation? Yeah. Are we ready? One, two, three. Wishes do come true. Sail. I want to be. I want to be on the sea. Port Canaveral off to the right there. Let's see a little bit of NASA off there in the distance. Very windy. Not sure how good my sound's coming out, but.
this is a secret passageway that only concierge gets to take to the show. Because when you do concierge, you get in 10 minutes before the normal crowd gets in, which is 30 minutes before the show. So 40 minutes, you'd be down here, concierge brings you back, and then you get to sit up front. All right, let me get a good pan here, the Walt Disney Theater here. On the Beautiful Wish, cannot film the shows, but get a little idea about this gorgeous theater here. Now, it's also cool, we have two options. Well, we did bring us some beverages. So we grabbed some drinks got some from drinks. the they lounge. Got quite a few. And you can get popcorn already made yeah, from them, or popcorn. you can get free popcorn from Preludes uh, before the show. So that's concierge uh, perk, yep. I guess you'd say. Yep. All right, so be very clear. You cannot film during this show. You cannot record during this show. Please don't take your phones out and do anything like that. Just watch the show. They say it multiple times, but invariably, somebody's got to run down, stop a person from recording. This show is worth going to. This show is awesome. All right, we just got back from Seize the Adventure, the opening Broadway-style show. Again, once again, definitely would recommend you go see that. Now we're headed down to 1923. Don't know which side, Roy or Walt, but we'll find out when we get there. And we're going to do some pictures, one of Mama's favorites. And the kids love them, too. <laughs> One of the quick uh, backgrounds looks like a little, I don't know, what would you call that? A little snowflake, Mickey lights, Mickey, I don't know, to show the background. All right, let's take a look at the menu here in Big and olive, and then a honey butter bread. Honey butter <laughs> dipping or honey butter spread. 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 All right, let's dig in to get these uh, 1923 salt and pepper shakers. How cool is that? All right, what's mine, babe? Because I'm not gonna remember. Read. So you got the burrata, mozzarella cheese, and prosciutto di Parma, and this has got a sunflower sunflower seed. Five really loaves, some um, oil and vinegar yeah, on it for you. Vinegar. So, and what did you get, my Brielle dear? Brielle and I got the Hyperion four cheese tortelloni. I'm kind of like the black truffle pasta per set. The portion size is very um, kind of skimpy, <laughs> but I remember this tasted fantastic last time, so I hope it doesn't disappoint. All right, my dearest, black truffle pasta or no? Oh, the black truffle pasta is still my favorite, but this is a really, really good pasta dish. Right. What do you think, Breezy? Thumbs up. Oh. And mine was very good. In fact, I think the, the real good touch there was the olive and uh, vinegar that was put on there. And then the uh, little bread was very good, or crispy thing that was with it was very good, too. So that was good. Good first start here at 1920. Yeah. All right, so in the tradition of my Disney... I got the tomato soup, and I recall it being very good last time. Mama, what, you got some soup too? Guinea hen corn chowder, and I had this last time we sailed on the Wish. Can you All see right. it? All right, I remember this tomato soup thinking it was delicious, and I remember the same exact thought. It would have been a whole lot better if they would make the bread crisper instead of being soaked kind of in moist. But, I mean, just preference, but this is good stuff. Again, Disney tradition. Appel. Thank you, mother. It was good. It was what I remembered it to be. Um, huge portion. So I couldn't finish no, it all. Uh, but I would definitely get it again. All right, Breeze, what did you get? I got um, pasta. All right. For cakes, mac and cheese better 1923. 
All right, so there we go. Same thing. Okay. 1923 mac and cheese. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. With fries and I don't know. Is that a Mickey? I'm not sure what that is. All right, babe. We got the same thing. We got the 1923 peppered filet mignon, and this comes with some buttered green beans. They are wrapped in bacon, and then this is a potato hash here on the side. All right, bon appetit, right, my dearest. How was your steak? It was just okay. I do think it was better the last time we came. Um, the potatoes were good. The green beans were good. I think the real winner, though, was Brielle's pasta. Real pasta was delicious. I'm kind of wishing I would have ordered that. All right, I would totally agree. I think, you know, we thought originally that the meats prepared on Disney, the answer was, so we like, well done. I think it's most of the time what we get. But um, the answer was tending to do medium, but this just felt like it was just kind of cooked, like the flavor was cooked right out of it. I don't know. Um, so, so, Keith, 1923 Mac, better, good, all right, all right, and here's the dessert here. I'm gonna get Keegs before he falls asleep. Mickey bar. Brielle, she's already torn into hers. Mickey bar. Yeah. I'll let you explain because you got one of mine. And I got two desserts. I'm not gonna eat them both. Um, we got the apple cheesecake. And I remember this one. I think this is good. Yes, we shared this last time. Yeah. Because we had the enchante dessert that day. And so there was no way we were gonna eat two desserts. But I remember it being good. And you like apple desserts. So I thought we could have a bite or two of this one. That's fine. But something new, we got the signature dessert. The Burbank Blueberry Lemon Bavarian Cream. And look at the presentation. It's lovely. It's related beautifully. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. All right. I'm, I like the signature dessert. I thought it was very good. Um, very different kind of flavor. I think raspberry um, in between. I thought it was good. But definitely, I think at this restaurant... Um, Mama's apple. I do remember that little dessert. It's definitely very good. Let me get her impression. All right, Mama, what, what did you think? Well, I ordered two desserts for a reason because I, like I said, we had had this apple cheesecake before. I'm glad I tried the signature dessert, but after like two bites, no. apple cheesecake definitely the winner. All right, so that will do it from our first night here in 1923. Walt Disney side. Let's go to bed. <laughs> All right, so we're going to end day one ourselves because the kids are exhausted and we're tired as well because day ones, no matter what you do, no matter how many times you do it, are exhausting, right? Yeah. But wow. Wow, what a great first day. Um, we're already feeling really spoiled being concierge. Told Love you. our room. Walk Love those our doors. Room. We Ruined have it. like other things planned for the trip and it's hard to think about doing yeah. other stuff when we have this these amazing like window views yeah. and just the space that we have um, so it, it's great and sail away party as usual just gets you hyped one thing we did discuss coming in we i guess maybe we realized it the first time we, we did the, the wish there isn't the big staff hoopla they do yeah. announce you they do announce when you know disney wish for a phone da, da, da. But it's but literally like there. one or two yeah. cast members instead of the and line like they're usually. They're not, they're not doing that little show they thing. They do not do the little, um, it's not Fairy Godmother, but yeah. the little show where they come out on stage. You and wave your wand. Wave stuff. your wand yeah. and all that. I don't know what that was We about. didn't see that at all today. In fact, we got our wands, but we had to seek yeah. out our wands. So that was a little different. So yeah, different, but different from last time. Sailaway party's awesome. Don't skip that. Uh, no matter how many sailaway parties you've done on other ships, don't skip that. That was awesome. And uh, the uh, show, I cannot say enough about the first day show. That's this spectacular. Wonderful Tons little of characters. Show. It's not very long, so it no. doesn't take up a ton of no. time on the first night. But tons. Some, um, characters you don't always get to see. I wish we could film. Yeah. Um, but don't miss it. If you're going to sail on the wish, make time on embarkation day to go to that little 30, 40 minute show, whatever it turns out to be. Yeah, it's very worth it. All right, before we go to dinner, I did show a little bit of the concierge. Um, lounge we'll show a lot more of that as we go on to the cruise but that was phenomenal and take advantage of some of that stuff but we had dinner at the Walt side 
1923. Yes, that is a, just a classy, elegant dining experience. Um, the food was good. The service was great. Yes, we had, we have we've got some good server yeah. and assistant server. So I think we are looking forward to the rest of our yeah, our other two nights of dining um, after that experience. But. And it's very hard to film in there because there's so much. Uh, history and stuff and There's pictures, but they're all setting by people and yeah. the tables. Like the so. memorabilia, like the setup of the restaurant, doesn't make yeah. it really easy to go it's not and at all. give you guys a tour so, of that. Hopefully, we can get a little bit of shots of that. Yeah. But anyway, so that was good and uh, good food. A little disappointed with our steaks, but overall, it the was, rest of it was it, good. Dining. The rest yeah. of the food was delicious. All right, so that said, please like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell as it does help our channel. And what do we always say? Onward to our next adventure. Day two, coming at you. Bye. Thanks for watching.